Hi, good morning. In this video, we will study a small topic that is called healing by intention. So what is the meaning by healing by intention? We have already studied the phases of wound healing in that we have seen the wound edges and the type of wound and how what are the processes happening in wound healing and how long it will take after that thing. So in this healing by intention, we divide as three type or three stages based on the uh, type of wounds, margins and the type of wounds. So the first one is called primary intention. So what is the primary intention? In the primary intention, the wound edges are approximate and it held in place until the healing occurs. So this is um, a, it's easy compared to other two stages or other two types because in this the wound margin or the edges that are approximate. So it will easy to uh, contract or come uh, towards the center of the wound. You can see in this picture that how the wounds look like. So that is called the primary intention. Next we will see secondary intention. What is secondary intention? Secondary intention is in this type of wound, the healing occurs with the injuries or wounds that have tissue loss and require gradual filling with the connective tissue. In the uh, phases of wound healing, proliferative stage we have studied that certain wounds, um, the wound healing, uh, the, the proliferative stage, it will take two to four weeks or sometimes two to six weeks because the wound should be filled with the connective tissues because there is a space and sometimes the wound margin is not that approximate so it will take time so in this picture you see how the wound uh, which is different from my primary intention there is a big space so that one have to fill first then this uh, margins or the edges will close together towards the center of the wound that is called the secondary intention that is happening in secondary intention so what kind of wounds in the tertiary intention do you have a, an idea could you please give an example in the tertiary intention the healing involves delayed primary closure and occurs with the wounds that are intentionally left open for several days for what purpose might be for uh, irrigation or for removal of some of the debris or slough tissues and might be more purulent drainage and x-rays so we have to remove first when we have removed all those uh, slough tissues debris x-rays everything the wound is clean and there will be a clean wound bud will develop and that is going to the next stage of filling then it's going to the primary intention so in the tertiary intention first it we will clean all the wound area for example like some of the diabetic wounds or some bed sore wounds it might be very forward swelling with pyrrhon drainages exudates slot tissues everything so first cleaning is occurring irrigation is occurring then there will be uh, a slowly uh, growth of a clean wound bed that is going help to development of a uh, filling of the connective tissue then after filling this process we will complete the tertiary prevention by the primary prevention by the primary prevention because the primary prevention what is happening is the closing of the wound edges or the contraction of the margin of the wounds towards the center of the wounds so that is happening in the tertiary prevention is that clear so only healing by intention that's it primary intention secondary intention tertiary intention so what is the difference between primary and tertiary and secondary so that's just keep it you see the picture so you'll get a clear idea. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.